today's video, we'll be talking about the actress Lota Chuku. So if you're new here, kindly subscribe and click on the bell notification button to get updated when new videos pop up. Actress Lota Chuku was born as Ugu Lota Chuku Jacinta Obia Nuju Amelia in November 29th in 1989 in Usuka, Enugu State, Nigeria. She is the last child of four children of her parents. Her family was very religious and her Christian parents raised their children in discipline. Lotashuku revealed that although her parents were disciplinarians, they were never strict. And since she was the last child of the family, she was well cared for. Apart from this, nothing much is known about her parents as there are no details about them available on the internet. Losachuko had her childhood upbringing mostly in Benin City, Edo State, where she attended her primary and secondary school education, obtaining her first school living certificate and senior secondary school certificate. During her days in secondary school, Losachuko discovered she had a flair for acting. After her secondary school education, Losachuko proceeded to the university in Benin City, where she studied Agricultural Economics and Extension Service to please her parents. After she graduated from the University of Benin, she realized that her talent was not enough to become a better actress. However, she did not want a career in agriculture. This made her enroll at the Royal Arts Academy, Lagos, Nigeria, where her acting skills were honed. Although she left her agricultural career for acting, her parents were supportive of her dreams and Lotachuku was really thankful to them for it. After her graduation from Royal Arts Academy, Lotachuku started attending movie auditions, but before venturing into acting, she was a model and participated in the 2011 edition of Most Beautiful Girl in Nigeria, where she represented Yobe face. After that, Lotachuku made her debut into the Nigerian movie industry when she featured in the movie titled Studio 113, which was produced by Lancelot Imerson. Since then, she started pursuing and developing her career in multiple award-winning films. Lotachuku rose to prominence after appearing on Funke Akindele's Jennifer's Diary, where she played the role of Kiki. Kiki Jennifer's Diary. And that was the first time a lot of people actually saw me on their screen for a long period of time, so that stuck to a lot of people. And even till now, I still get referred to as um, Kiki. Lotachuku auditioned for the popular series and landed the role to act as Kiki, a lady from a wealthy home who is a close friend to Jennifer. She revealed working in the series gave her the opportunity of meeting and learning the attitudes of other people with varied cultures and backgrounds. Lotachuku says that all the movies she played in shaped her personality and made her who she is today, so she is unable to define one of them as her major breakthrough, but working on the set of Jennifer's Diary was an absolutely unforgettable experience. Aside from acting, Lotachuku is a writer, yoga enthusiast, and lover of fashion. Many of her fans fell in love with her because of her beauty. Lotachuku was featured as the lead character in Reminiscent music video titled Formile and also Aramide's music video Why So Serious. In 2017, she announced the takeoff of her food show, Lotate. A cooking and lifestyle show which shows Lotachuku in her elements as a food and nature lover. The show featured several Nigerian celebrities including Adekunle Gold, Sosi, Ajibade, Aramide and Enfi Galaxy. Lotachuku was in the news some years ago when she revealed to the surprise of many that she has four children. She would however correct the statement during an interview with Punch where she revealed that the four kids she was referring to were the dogs she owned at that time. The truth about Lotachuku's husband is that he does not exist yet. The actress says that 
She is very romantic and has been waiting for her special person for a long time. A while ago, she joked about her boyfriend who is called Andre, but she was in fact talking about her Toyota car. Lotashiku has kept her personal life away from the media and there is no detail on whether she is in a relationship or not. But currently, the actress has been sparking relationship rumors with the actor Frederick Leonard. Now you know everything about the very gorgeously beautiful Lotachuku. I know you did like this video, so kindly give this video a thumbs up so that more people can watch it and get to appreciate it just the same way you did. What do you love most about the actress Lotachuku? Please let us know in the comment section. If you have not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Kindly subscribe to this channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. And when you subscribe, don't forget to turn on your bell notification button so that you won't miss any of the interesting videos uploaded on this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video to the very end. Until next time, goodbye. Um, to me, it's, um, it's kind of like having multiple personality disorder. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get to be different people. This week I might be a doctor, next week I might be a prostitute, the other week I might be a thief. You know, so it's just like having to become different people at different times. Um, but it's fun. It's, it's fun. It, it rarely ever gets boring. And I, I, I think I'm lucky because I've not been bored yet. So, you know, it's just like a different excitement you're working with a different crew, you work with different actors, so it's just like a different dynamic all over and over again. When you think you know something, you're learning something else. You're working with a director who wants you to be more expressive. You're working with another director who wants you to be less expressive. So you know, like that. So just keep so being an actor is really fun. It really it stretches you, it builds your personality, it it builds your relationship with other people and you get to meet so many people every day. For anybody who's trying to come into the industry is the first thing I think you should learn is to be a good actor. Because even those of us in it were still trying to improve daily. I don't think you should wait for anybody to notice you. You should put yourself out there. Um, you should get on social media if you, even if it's just a hundred followers you have.